<laughs> I care a lot about the environment. I've always argued for conservatives to back conservation. I even have one of these four ocean bracelets for donating to ocean cleanup efforts. I used to be open to bans on plastic bags until I read this article. Plastic bags help the environment. Here's the quote. High density poly ethylene bags like this. They're a marvel of economic engineering and environmental efficiency. They're cheap, convenient, waterproof, strong enough to hold groceries, but thin and light enough to make and transport using scant energy, water or other resources. When governments ban them, consumers buy thicker substitutes with a bigger carbon footprint. Some facts in the piece. Half the plastic in the ocean is actually discarded fishing equipment. Over 80% of plastic washing up on shores came from China, including stuff we had sent there for recycling. So, if you want to help the environment, the argument is repeal plastic bag bans. Stop sending our waste to Asia and put plastic waste in the trash, not the recycling. This is so brilliantly counterintuitive, Adam. I thought of you uh, when I read that piece, and I've been saving it up. To uh, it. I like when you read about garbage, you immediately think about <laughs> me. You are, exactly. That's the <laughs> connection. what Adam's up to. Uh, look, it's all, I, I like to say all roads lead to narcissism. First off, we act like there's a small part of California, Malibu, and Encino that controls the entire globe's totally. output, right? Like, <laughs> until we can get Asia and Africa to join in with us, what chance do we have on saving the planet? But it, none of it will ever work, and I learned it very quickly. Uh, James Brolin is married to Barbara Streisand. They live in Malibu. Babs is all about the environment and the Green New Deal and recycling and everything else. And when James Brolin came to my place to do a podcast, he <laughs> pulled up in a Ford Raptor. This is essentially <laughs> oh, yeah. a V8 fire-breathing trophy <laughs> truck. And when I said, James, you got the 2016. Why didn't you get the new one? He goes, the new one has the V6 in it with the turbo. Oh. Mine's got the V8, burns more fossil fuels. He returns to Malibu, <laughs> probably does a donut on the lawn, and then goes back <laughs> in and hugs Babs. So how are we going to get anybody down with this <laughs> if... James Brolin is driving a trophy truck. <laughs> or he may park it in the neighborhood, in the neighbor's oh, garage, right. and they've got a Prius in the driveway. Right. Hops in the Uber. That's right. Gets, gets on a bicycle. That's right. right. So, Tammy, you're That's in New York. They banned plastic yeah. bags last week. Are you going to yeah. comply? Uh, well, uh, you have to. I mean, you can, but then you have to pay for the paper bag. And I remember the first switch was because we wanted to save the trees. Right. So we wanted to get rid of the paper bags. And so the plastic bags were fine. But the reality is, of course, is that all of this, as you've noted, it's not narcissism, but the problem is, is that you do then think you're making a difference, whereas it, in fact it just distracts you away and you think you've done your part and we haven't. It's worth dealing with this issue. Yes. This article is a great, uh, gives well, some great ideas. That's why it's ideas, so interesting. It's actually important. The narcissism is actually counterproductive. It's that not is just correct. ineffective. Well, you know it's why? It hurts the environment right. to I'll do all you, this. I'll tell you, with a lot of, this happens a lot of issues. You become satiated. That's so right. what you do is you bring your hemp bag to the Whole Foods and you go, I've done that. My done, job is done you've here. You've done your part. I've done my part. That's and it. so not only are you not doing anything, but you're not going to do anything more because you've, All right. you're safe. Very wise words. Okay. Thank you so much.